You want to be able to see pictures. You want to have seen reviews. You want to have spoken to someone who has got their locks done by them. May hopefully multiple people. Hi everyone. Welcome back to Locks with Kayla. I am Kayla. This week I will be covering how you can find a good sister lock or traditional lock consultant. I feel like this is everyone's biggest challenge or the most important thing if it's not their biggest challenge that they should be looking for when starting their log journey you can have a thousand questions you can have done not that much research but your consultant should be able to get you through and answer pretty much any of the questions you have and even if that answer is saying i don't know they should be able to do that so before I go into this anymore, I'm just going to get right to it. These are the five things that you should look for when looking for a sister lock or traditional lock consultant. So number one, before we get into anything, I would say you should be patient. Now, if you rush into the situation going with someone because you're just really wanting to get your hair done, that creates a slippery slope for possibilities that may occur. So go with your gut, trust your instincts, and take your time on deciding who you want to be with you throughout your entire lock journey. This is not someone that you just wanna get your locks installed by and not continue to go to them for retightenings because your grid is essential and the energy that they put into your locks are essential. So make sure that from the beginning, you're using good instincts, you're putting good energy into the process and trusting yourself. The next thing that I would say that you should do or look for is references. Make sure that this person has some form of social media, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, Google, um, a website where you can see their work. You want to be able to see pictures. You want to have seen reviews. You want to have spoken to someone who has got their locks done by them. May, hopefully multiple people. And just use whatever references that you can to vouch for this person and their work. My number three uh, tip was to look at reviews. And I'll just reiterate that. Make sure that you are looking at reviews. Make sure that you are talking to people. Make sure that... This is not just on a whim. Whether it be that you go to a consultation, like this person might be a trainee and might not have that much experience to where you can talk to that many people, but I personally would just talk to as many people as I could before I decided to venture on this journey with them because you wanna make sure that you're getting everything that you need out of the experience, personally. Because when you look at reviews, certain things stick out to you that might not stick out to someone else. And that's how you know that this person is centered for you. Number four, I would cross-reference their pictures. Now, some people, I've seen this a lot recently, have been using other people's pictures for their sister lock abilities, like basically just stealing other people's work. That is extremely scary. So I would go on possibly a sister lock group. Um, if you're looking for traditional locks, I would go on a traditional lock group that is for your area or just make a post saying, look, I'm looking for someone who can do my locks. Like, who are you guys going to? And look at their work and make sure that it is their work. So aside from making sure that it's their work, make sure that it looks like what you believe sister locks should look like or traditional locks. If you see something that's off, look at multiple accounts so that you can make sure that like, okay, yeah, that's not what it's supposed to look like. Because 10 times out of 10, if you spot something that's wrong with your untrained eye, I could spot something definitely wrong with my professional eye that you were completely right about and you should have been wary of so once again follow your gut cross-reference pages ask people questions do whatever you got to do to make sure that you're not going to get cheated out of your money and number five i would definitely have multiple consultations if necessary if you feel like from the consult that you guys aren't aligned 
or even after the consult if you start to feel like there's something about this person that you guys are going to clash or you you won't blend don't settle for that go on another consultation take whatever time that you need to make sure that you are getting the most out of this process do not feel like you're wasting your time you are not wasting your time it will be a waste of your time and effort if you just what is the word <laughs> if you just agreed or just went along with the process just because you were conflicted in yourself or second guessing yourself and then everything that you thought turned out to be right so trust me i've been through it take your time go on multiple consultations and just fill out the energy make sure that it's right for you thank you so much for watching this video i hope it's been helpful for you and i wish you all the best on your journey so far if you're already locked shout out to you if you're not even if you're just thinking about being locked shout out to you <laughs> thank you so much for watching once again don't forget to like and subscribe to this video so that you can be updated weekly on my new videos and comment below a topic that you would like to see from me thank you so much again for tuning in and i can't wait to see you next week